This video is brought to you by my two books, Practical Music Theory for the Rock Guitarist and the Blues Guitar Bible. Want to learn about modes, harmony, scales, chord substitution and keys? Or maybe you're interested in supercharging your blues guitar rhythm and lead chops. Whatever you're interested in, I guarantee you will be hitting the fast lane to progress with either of these works. Both feature video demonstrations and tutorials, loads of tabs and jam tracks to play along with, and I promise you, everything is explained in crystal clear plain English. Check out the links in the description for more details. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition, as always, I do hope you're well. That's a little piece of music I threw together earlier on today, and I've got to tell you, uh, every now and again, um, I'll churn something like that out just as a kind of thing for uh, to illustrate a particular thing in a lesson, and I end up thinking, yeah... I'm pleased with that and yeah that's one of them um quite happy with how that turned out the main thing we're going to be talking about today is the uh, rhythm the time signature that that piece of music is in it's in what we call six eight time uh which uh because i'm married to a lady who is absolutely nuts about watching strictly come dancing uh or dancing with the stars as it's called elsewhere in the world um you know and of course you absorb a little bit of um the terminology from uh from just kind of that show being on while while um you know you're kind of in the living room you know six eight time is what is known in dancing circles as a viennese waltz and that explains um, a little incident that happened to me many years ago when I was playing in a band and Parisian walkways was the big ballad that we used to do in the set oh I was a happy boy we're playing a Gary Moore tune yes uh, anyway long story short we got um, booked to do a gig and there was a mix-up with the agent and what have you and uh, we were playing to a lot of um, shall we say senior citizens who were expecting you know kind of um I don't know, Vera Lynn and, um, you know, th that kind of nostalgia sort of stuff. And we rocked up and we're playing Brian Adams, Bon Jovi, and as I said, Gary Moore. We didn't go down particularly well. But as we were playing Parisian Walkways, this old couple, bless them, they got up and they started waltzing around the uh, the dance floor, um, you know, uh, because Parisian Walkways is in 6-8 time and that makes it a Viennese waltz. Uh, so there you go, you live and learn. Anyway, um, it's a particular time signature that you'll find almost um, as commonplace as like regular 4-4 four, four time. Well, not almost as commonplace, but if basically what I'm saying is that um, most rock music is in 4-4 four, four time. Four beats to the bar and that's it. But any uh, rock music that maybe, I'm not including like progressive rock here that has all sorts of weird time signatures going on, but any kind of straight ahead classic rock that isn't in 4-4 four, four time will usually be in 6-8 time. It's the most commonly used 
time signature that isn't straight ahead uh, four beats to the bar. So it's uh, a useful thing to know how to play in that time signature. Well, here is the explanation. Okay, so 6-8 time is what you get when you have a bar with two quarter note beats in it that you might count if you're just going to play them as quarter note beats like this. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to divide each of those uh, two quarter note beats into a triplet. Now, the best way to think of triplets is just to say the word evenly on each on each beat. So, you know, evenly, 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 evenly. You will see some people saying uh, that what you should do is say uh, one and uh, two and, uh, which kind of works, one and uh, two and uh, three and so on, right? But the problem with that is that it's very easy to, to get it kind of wrong and end up going one and uh, two and uh, like that and it just doesn't you know you're not then playing three evenly spaced triplet beats uh, per beat so just say the word evenly the problem with that style of strumming is if i do it in slow-mo you'll kind of see evenly, evenly. it naturally sort of invites a sort of down up down motion on each beat which means that you, you're going to have to put two downstrokes consecutive to each other. And that sort of goes against what I think is a wise thing to do, which is to always just keep a nice flowing motion down and up without having to kind of race back to the top of the strings to reset to do another downstroke, like... That, there, you can see what I'm doing. And then having to reset back up there, like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to count it as one and two and three and four and five and six and one and two and three and four and five and six and okay we're not quite there yet but it's it's moving in the right direction and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to miss the and of the uh, of the one one and two and three and four and five and six and and I'm going to miss the and on the four as well. So one and two, three and four and five and six and. Then I'm going to place an emphasis or an accent on beat one and on beat four. So. And you can still hear it's got that kind of six beat feel. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And, you know, songs that might use that might go something like this. And before uh, I get the video demonetized, I'll stop there. Um, so you can hear in that, that one, two, three, four, five, six. If you've just got the occasional bar where there are, there are triplets in there, then you don't really need to think in terms of 6-8 or its kind of close cousin where you're doing a, a group of four beats divided into triplets. Uh, that would be called 12-8. Um, but, you know, if you just got the odd bar like that, then you don't really need to worry about it. But if the entire piece of music, like that famous Beatles song I've just kind of misquoted there, um, if the whole thing is using that rhythm, then rather than describing it as like 2-4 or 4-4, and then... Um, you know, dividing everything up into triplets. It's just an entirely different feel, so you express it that way by saying it's in 6-8. So looking at that uh, chord sequence that was in the demonstration piece earlier. Like that, you can hear that one, two, three, four, five, six. And how I'm strumming it is one and two and three and four and five and six. And you can miss out some of the ands any, at anywhere you want in the rhythm, but I think the ones that are the crucial are you're missing out the and after the one and the and after the four. So one and two, three and four and five and six. And
any variation like that, um, you know, when you're strumming, you're just tending to be, um, you know, more of an improvisational kind of thing anyway. It's just a case of just having the overall um, pulse, the overall feel of the music. And that is what's going on in 6-8 time. Now you know what to do. Go away and have some fun with it. And as always, you'll find a full tab for the piece of music that we kicked the video off with in both Guitar Pro and PDF formats. A pair of jam tracks, one minus the lead guitar part, so you can just use it as a regular jam track and play some lead guitar over the top of it, and one minus that acoustic strumming part that um, is in, as I say, 6-8 time, using the rhythm I've just explained there. You'll also find the... Um, that that explanation and a little chord chart for the uh, for the the piece of music as well all of that is as usual up on my patreon page there's the address link in the description as i'm sure you know by now three dollars or three pounds a month gets you access to all of these additional resources that go along with these youtube videos and of course a massive massive heartfelt thank you to everyone who supports me in that or any of the other ways all of which are down there in the description and that is it for today folks hope you've enjoyed this little lesson on uh, six eight time signature a compound time signature as it's sometimes called and if that's the case please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so why not drop me a like as well while you're at it don't forget as always the live stream every friday 5 p.m uk time we drink beer and talk about stuff music guitars whatever it's a great way to kick off the weekend and i'd love to see you there if you can make it but for now i'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching thank you for your time look after yourselves folks stay well stay Stay safe and above all, stay sane. Bye for now.